everyone, my name is Elgis. Today I'm going to teach you about adjectives. An adjective is a describing word which describes a noun. It qualifies a noun in other words. So an example is the funny clown at the circus made everyone in the tent laugh. So funny describes the clown. It qualifies the clown. So next we have pronouns we have pronouns and you should say that if a pronoun can substitute a noun and an adjective can describe a noun an adjective can also describe a pronoun so you can say he is very clever clever is describing the pronoun he she is very fast fast is describing she so then we've got names of colors names of colors are used as adjectives you can say a red flower sunflower yellow green leaves black hair like that you can even use blonde hair and then numbers you can use numbers you can say a book a is one an orange on is one three boys you can say two cows too and you can also say april is the fourth month and you can also say the first prize in english was won by tom and adjectives can also be used to say how many or how much of a particular thing we say some people think a different way of the world i like only a little sugar in my tea. There are only a few flowers in that old garden. And then we've got then we've got comparative adjectives which ends in R or S. So you can see a base form of an adjective like busy or tiny. Let's and then you add R or S. Let's see the different thing things we do to it if it ends in y we drop the y and add i e r or i e s you can do that to words like busy tiny etc you can do it for you can do it for and words that end in e you do it you do you just add r and you or you just add st you can do that for things like short brave R and F or S. Sometimes you just double the last letter and then just add R or S. La, you can do that in fat, fatter, fattest. Completely different words. You, for words like good, you use a completely different word. Good, better, best. Bad, worse, worst. Many, more, most. Little, less least much more most thank you for listening